After watching this video, you'll know everything about custom formatting in depth. For example, you can mask numbers with icons and even sum them. Now, are you curious about this? Let's go. For my first scenario, I need to discuss salaries and bonuses in a meeting, but I don't want to show the names of the people, so I can just delete them. But this is not good practice, so what I'm gonna do is use custom formatting to mask those names. Now you have to select your data and define four parameters separated by semicolons. The first one is the format of positive numbers, then the format of negative numbers, then the zero, and finally the format of text. So we go to home, number, next to it you have this arrow, go to custom and let's start. So for positive numbers I want general, that's fine. For negative numbers we can use the general format, semicolon, for the zero we can type a zero, semicolon, and finally for the text I don't want anything so I keep it blank. So press OK and there you go, they disappear. The only problem though is that if you click on the cell, you will see them in the formula bar. Now there is a way to hide this also using locking cells and sheet protection, but this is outside the scope of this video. So if you want to know more about it, just write a comment and let me know. Let's do the same for zero. I'm just gonna select all those numbers and we go to the same place, custom. We're gonna start for positive numbers, we can use general, for negative numbers, general, semicolon for zero, I don't want anything, so I just keep it blank. Semicolon for text, I'm gonna use the at. The at means keep the text as is. So let's press OK, and there you go, the zero is gone, but it's still there in the background. Let's continue with the second example, and here I have some ratings. Everything above 70 is a pass, below or equal to 70 is a fail. So the other way to use custom formatting is to have a first condition, a second one and everything else. So I have my data selected, let's go to the same place and let's use custom. For the condition you have to put it in those brackets, so bigger than 70, what do I want? I want pass, so I will write pass in double quotations because this is a text, semicolon. For my other condition we have smaller than or equal to 70, let's use fail here and then I don't have another condition so I'm just gonna keep it like this, press OK, and there you go, you get pass and fail. Now you're gonna tell me why do you do this? Let me show you. For example, if you want to get the average, which is a mathematical operation, you can just select all this, press enter, change the format, and you get the average of the numbers. Now, if you are doing, for example, a text plus something, you're gonna get an explosion, it's not gonna work. Here, you don't have this problem. And this is one of the main advantages of custom formatting. Now, my boss wants me to write sales in front of every number. I'm not going to do this manually. I'm just going to go here, select the data, and apply the third way of using custom formatting, which is just defining a custom format. So I want to write sales, space, double quotation, then you need the number. We can use this format, so 0 0.00. You can see the sample we are getting the number and then forcing two decimal places. I'm going to explain to you this in details, but for now, let me just show you this. You see, we have sales and we can easily sum everything. We won't have any problem. Let's just use the normal format and you get the sum. Let's play with dates. So here I have a few dates. I select them, go to the same place and I can change. Now let's start with days. If I have one D, you see this is for the 1st of Jan, so this is 1, 0, 1 for 2D, 3 is Sunday, 4 is Sunday full. If we try the months, M is 1 because it's January, another M is 0, 1, 3M is Jan, 4M is January, and for years, 1Y or 2Ys is 23, 3 or 4Ys is 2023. So I can do D dash, for example, 3Ms, and then we can have a slash, four Y's. You can see this is the format. Press OK, and you get this fancy format. Let's go for something more fun. I'm gonna teach you how to use colors and emojis. So here I have variation, and I want to color in green everything above zero, and in red everything below zero. 
So here we can apply the first way of using custom formatting. So I'm just going to go to the same place and I'm going to have the positive numbers. For green, you put it in those brackets. And next, we need the format. So I'm going to say 0.00%. Again, I'm going to explain this later on, but basically you're going to have the number with two decimal places in percentage, semicolon, negative numbers, red, and here you're going to have, let's put, for example, parenthesis, parenthesis, put 0.00%. Then let's put a semicolon. This is for zero, so we can do 0%. Text we don't have, let's not use it. Press OK, and there you go, you get your numbers colored. Now you're going to tell me, where did you get green, red, etc.? I have for you colors, so you can see this is red, this is green. Now, if you want to use other colors, you need to use color 10, 11, etc. If you download the workbook, you have everything here. Let's go back. And now we're going to use emojis. Now, to get emojis, if you have a Windows PC, you can use window dot. And here you have some emojis. So I'm just going to select this one and this one. Let's close this. Press enter. I have a couple of emojis. If not, what you could do is just go to a website. You can go to Google, type emojis and download an emoji or just copy paste an emoji and put it here. It's the same concept. So now that I have those two, I'm just going to copy them. Control C escape. Let's go here. We're going to do the same way. Let's come here. Custom. We start with positive numbers. So for example, for positive numbers, I want this emoji. Let's do double quotation, double quotation. And here we need the number, so that's the same as before. I'm not going to waste too much time. Then semicolon, let's put both emojis, use the second one. And here we can have, for example, the same format we had before as a percentages, semicolon 0%. If you press OK, you have the emojis. Now, if you want to color them, that's the same concept. You just come here. You can use, for example, color 10 in this case. And in this one, we can use color 12. Press enter. And now they are colored and you have even the number next to it. Next, let's define a specific format. So for example, if I have 5678.12 here and I want to define my format, let's just select the data and go here and let me explain to you. The first thing that you could do is use hashes. So what does it do? If I put one hash, it means just put as many numbers as you require. For example, here you have 5678, perfect. If you add more hashes, nothing happens. But you're going to tell me why do you have all these hashes? Well, I can use a comma here and you can see how the format changes. Now, you can also use zeros. If I use a zero, it will force to have a digit. So here I have four digits, nothing happens. But if I add a fifth zero, you can see that you get a zero in front of it. And obviously, you can use the same concept with decimal places. So for example, hash dot hash, it will show the decimal places. Here I need two hashes because I'm defining two decimal places. I can also do 0.00. .00. If I add more zeros, you can see what happens. If I add hashes here, you won't get extra numbers. Finally, you have the question marks. The question marks will add spaces if you have more question marks than digits. For example, if you see, now I start having spaces in front of 5, 6, 7, 8, because I added more than four question marks. I can do the same for decimal places. So those are two question marks for two decimal places. If I start adding more, you will have spaces on the right side. So press OK and you see you have spaces from both sides. Now, for example, if we go back, we can just say I want hash, comma, hash, 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 dot zero, and press OK. This is the format. Let's do something fun. Sometimes you have numbers and you want to transform them in thousands or millions, but you don't want to change the number because you need it in a calculation. So we're going to do the same thing here. Let's just select the numbers. We go to number, custom. You have some gibberish. That's crazy. We don't need this. What we're going to do is hash, comma, and then you have dot, for example, let's put a zero. So what happens in this case, we are transforming this number in thousands. 
you can see how it goes to six to seven and here dot seven because it is rounding this number up press ok and this is in thousands if you want to do millions this is the same technique you go here you have hash comma comma and now you have 1429 million you can do dot zero and it will give you the right number finally we have a to-do list and i have this symbol so i want to put the symbol in front of everything let me just copy it Control c escape we come here and what we want to do is just go to custom put this and then you can use at press ok and it will come at as i said it's the text.